Hello everyone, today's video for biochemistry in just 3 minutes is pellagra. So first what is pellagra? So pellagra is a disorder which occurs due to the deficiency of niacin. Niacin is a water soluble vitamin B3. Now what are the causes of pellagra? So first pellagra is very much common in a people from lower socioeconomic status where they consume more amount of maize. In maize, niacin is present in, present in a bound form niacetin which is not available for the absorption for the body. Second important cause is pellagra is also common in the people whose staple diet is sorghum. In the sorghum there is a high amount of amino acid leucine which inhibits the enzyme responsible for the synthesis of niacin coenzymes that is QPRTAs that is quinolinophosphoriboside transferase enzyme. Third important cause of pellagra is in the patient suffering from tuberculosis. In tuberculosis, they take isoniazide as an anti-tubercular drug and isoniazide inhibits the formation of PLP which is an active form of vitamin B6 and this PLP is required for the conversion of tryptophan to the niacin. Another important cause is if there is a deficiency of vitamin B6 then also it results in a pellagra. Then another important cause of pellagra is a carcinoid syndrome. In carcinoid syndrome, pellagra occurs due to the secondary manifestation where more amount of this tryptophan is diverted towards for the synthesis of serotonin rather than niacin. And another important cause of pellagra is Hartnup disease. In Hartnup disease, there is a defective absorption of tryptophan. So this tryptophan is not available for the synthesis of niacin. So these are the causes of pellagra. Now what are the signs and symptoms of pellagra? So pellagra is a pellagra is manifested, manifested as a 3D. In 3D, first D is a diarrhea, second D is a dermatitis and the third D is a dementia. So in the diarrhea occurs due to the inflammation of gastrointestinal mucous membrane and it is often, often mixed with uh, mucus and blood. Then dermatitis. So in the dermatitis, there is a dry erythematous uh, skin lesions appear on a sun exposed area like back of the hand, ankle, feet and on the neck. Fine and this uh, dry erythematous skin lesions are bilateral and symmetrical and there is also hyperpigmentation around the neck area which is also known as the Kessel's necklace which you can see in the image. So that is a dermatitis and then dementia. So dementia is characterized by ataxia, uh, depression, delirium, psychosis and if it is not treated then it can result in a death. So that is all about pellagra. Thank you.